Okay, so now we're going to take the bolt apart. First thing we're going to do is to remove the recoil spring assembly. I usually just take a screwdriver to release tension and wiggle it out. Now we're going to get the uh, firing pin out, the rebound spring and the rebound spring support out. It is really simple. All you need to do is to push out the uh, firing pin stop. Which releases the tension from the rebound spring. All you need to do is just turn the bolt around and everything falls out. Then you will end up with the firing pin. The rebound spring and the rebound spring support. Now we're going to take out the extractor. This is a little bit tricky, probably going to take a while. What you need is to get something flat in between the recoil uh, or the extractor and uh, uh, extractor plunger. Everything is being held in place by tension, so you need to release the tension, pushing back on the plunger as far as you can get it. Need to pull out and backwards to get the extractor out. Everything is held under tension, so release it carefully. You take out the uh, extractor spring and uh, extractor plunger. This is the plunger. And this is the extractor uh, spring. Okay, so now we're going to put the bolt back together. What you do is to start with the uh, extractor spring and the uh, extractor plunger, put them together. The cutout is supposed to be towards the bolt. Slide it in. Take the extractor. See that square part there? That is supposed to be towards you. The hook part is supposed to be at the right side. You're going to use this, try and get it as much underneath as possible while you push in as far as you can get it and it clicks back into place. Now we're going to put the uh, rebound spring support and the rebound spring in. I replaced the rebound spring with a wolf rebound spring which is extra power. As you notice it has a curved end. So it's going to go in this way. So you have the angle up. Once you've gotten it in, I usually use the firing pin to push back on it to get it all the way back in into its slot. Then we will take the firing pin, start at the back, push it forward till you feel that tension. Keep it in place with your finger. And then you take the firing pin stop and slide it in. Then we're going to put the recoil spring assembly on. Begin at the front, put it into a slot, use something to pull back on the spring to get everything into place, and then that's it.